Martinez Nursery has some beautiful plants right now. It's a nice warm day here in Southern California. And I wanted to go plant shopping here because they posted that they had some really cool philodendrons in. But first, let's look at these cute little Sansevierias. I know some of you collect Sansevieria and I love Sansevieria, they're really cool. These have nice, thick, succulent leaves. These are in two inch pots and they're $8 each. They have cute little Diffenbachias too. These are $4 each. These would be great for making centerpieces, I would imagine. They look great kind of grouped together like that in the container. I can only imagine how good these will look when done intentionally. Oh, these are cute too. They have little tiny little baby Adenium obesums, desert roses. Some are already starting to get a little chubby. Love that. $4 for these. This is so cute. I think this is the Pacific Maiden Hair Fern. Oh, I'm loving these ferns. This is so cute. I love the ones that are slightly getting sun stressed. They kind of stand out among all the other fronds. The Adiantum monocolor. Oh, except this one is variegated. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. This is one that I just might have to get. I actually got my Begonia Amphioxus from here and it's doing well outside. So I feel a little more confident picking some delicate plants up like this. One plant that was really hot when I started collecting house plants and everyone seemed to be talking about, but no one is talking about anymore, is the Pilea peperomioides. These are still really fun to grow and I love mine that I got years ago. It's just funny how trends ebb and flow. They have some nice two inch Pilea peperomioides. These are really fun to grow and very easy to propagate because these put out pups. They have some cute two inch Ripsalis cereascula. Really cute jungle cactus. These are $5 each. Ripsalis is really fun and they're really beautiful too, especially when they grow. They kind of grow into these beautiful, natural chandelier looking plants. So these are great hanging. And this is another Ripsalis. This is a Ripsalis paradoxa. See how cool it looks? It almost looks like chain link that's fused together. And this one's $20. It's an interesting leaf on that Ficus petiolaris. Ficus petiolaris is one of my favorite ficus. I love the heart-shaped leaves with the bright pink veining. So beautiful. And they also have a caudex, which is cool. And this one's shaped really cool. I like that kind of elongated caudex look to it. They also have some begonia dragaeis, and these are the caudex begonias. Both of these are $20 each. Ooh, this is a cool one because the leaves are different. See the difference? The other begonia dragii has the silver splashing and this is more of a solid green with some red edges to it. That's cool. Speaking of codexes, they have some, or codices, but they have some frizzle sizzles. These are $15 each. These are also really fun. The more sun you give it, the curlier the leaves get. And I love that it grows out of that little codex. Albuca spiralis. I think I'm gonna have to pick one of these up. Oh, and we saw that they had some two inch Adenium obesums and they have some four inch ones too. What's cool about the smaller ones is that these are seed grown. 
they're not grafted. And as you could see from these larger Adenio obesums, a lot of these larger ones are grafted, which isn't bad either, but it's just kind of cool and different knowing that it is its own original plant, like all of it, versus something that was grafted onto another plant for its color, you know? And here you could see they have three different types of Adenia mobisum flowers, um, different cultivars grafted onto the caudex of the plant. These are $20 each. They have the good luck, good night, and this guy. And not to poo poo on these, because these look great. These look nice and full, super happy. Some even look a little variegated or have like a mottled look to the leaves. And they're about to flower. That's awesome. They also have some carnivorous plants. These are $12 each, but I thought I'd show you this because one is flowering, the Venus flytrap, and one of the most useful tips that I've ever learned about uh, Venus flytraps is to cut the flower off because it's a lot of energy for the plant to produce, and that'll make some of the traps kind of die back if you let it, you know, keep going and blooming so I'd cut that off and move on with my life I guess they also have nepenthes look at that cute little picture right there moving on to some larger carnivorous plants they have these for $15 these are saracenias also known as the North American pitcher plant these are $15 each you could see uh, that guy's eaten. They have Saracenias, Sundews, and Venus flytraps. All these four inch carnivorous plants are $15 each. If you are into carnivorous plants or are fascinated by them or intrigued by them, I suggest you check out my video of the carnivorous plant show here in Southern California. If you haven't already seen it, it was so much fun. They had so many cool plants. Now on to the philodendrons. These are the philodendron minarum, lime fiddle. It's really pretty, like almost like splashing or modeling in the leaf. Here's one with lar here's a larger version of the plant so we can get a better idea. I don't know. Is this a Paraiso Verde? That's what it's giving. Ooh, they have some Monstera Celta Picanas. I haven't seen these in a while. These are great. Monstera Celta Picanas are really cool because they start out looking kind of epipremnum-ish, but then when they mature and grow, they get some fenestrations and turn into a completely different looking plant. They're very easy to propagate too. These are $20 each. And they also have some Syndapsis Jade Satin. These are nice. These are also $20. I love these thick, succulent, velvety leaves. They actually feel more like suede than velvet. But they also have Cebu Blue Pothos. See how close they can kind of look. Very similar. Ooh, they also have some philodendron mayo eyes. Beautiful. Mayoi, mayo eye. However way, tomato, tomato. But this philodendron has grown on me. I love that new leaf. Unfurling, that's so pretty. These are $20 each too. They have an awesome selection of Hoyas as usual. These Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegadas, or the variegated Hindu ropes, look amazing. These are nice and thick and full. These are $30 each in the four inch pots. These variegated Hindu ropes are awesome. And I got my mom one for her birthday, about two birthdays ago, and I'm so impressed that she's been able to keep it nice and happy and mealy bug free for this whole time. You can see a little bit of the variegation on this one. Some of them are so curly that it's hard to see. Oh, 
they have some Hoya Obovada. I think this is the inner variegated and it looks like it's a splash too. This one's $15. It's a great deal. $20 for these Hoya Matildas. I just placed my Hoya Matilda in brighter sun and it's putting out some of the most intense silver leaves. It kind of reminds me of a Wilbur Graves. I'm very excited about it. They have these larger Pilea peperomioides and here's a great example of how they produce little pups. You can just separate them and each one of these little plants will turn into its own big plant. And these four inch Pilea peperomioides are six dollars each. They have some really nice philodendron ring of fires in right now. These have really nice variegation. Ring of fires are so gorgeous. Look at this one putting out some half moon leaves. These ring of fires are $20 each. And the philodendron plowmanii. The leaves of this philodendron are beautiful. They have really nice texture and some even have some silver streaks to them. Such a pretty philodendron. So glad I don't have to import these anymore. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago that I had to import these to get it. But now they are just available at the nursery, which is great. And these are $20. It's a great price for this philodendron plowmanii. I almost missed these philodendron brantianums too. These are nice. These are looking a lot more solid than they used to. I feel like there was a time that brantianums were being sold at like Home Depot or Lowe's and they just didn't look as sturdy. These look like they were grown here in California so these look nice and acclimated to our weather. These are looking a lot more solid than the other ones that I used to see maybe about a year or two ago. Ooh, look at this Schefflera. I like that they tried braiding it just like the Pachura Aquatica or the money tree. That's pretty cool. This Schefflera is $25. And look at this Stromanthi Trio Star. These leaves are gorgeous. This is in a four inch pot. Leaves are nice and big for being in a four inch pot. And it is $12. Wow, these are pretty too. They got some philodendron snowdrifts in, looks like. Super pretty. These are $20 each in the four inch pots. And they also have some really pretty Ficus shiverianas. Love that. These are $20 also. Wow, and they have Alocasia Jacqueline. These are $12 each. That's a good price. This is a cool Alocasia. The leaves are beautiful. So much texture, so much going on. Love that. And back to the Sansevierias. I got this nice Sansevieria cylindrica. Tons of growth in there. And then these Sansevieria fern woods. Look how cool that looks growing out of the pot like that. Ooh, this is cool and a great deal. They have a Epiphyllum Queen of the Night in a hanging basket for $20. I have a newfound love for Epiphyllums because I just went to a really cool Epiphyllum nursery down in San Diego called Garden Jewels Nursery. I made a video there. It actually is one of my favorite videos I've ever made because I got to interview a really cool person. Uh, she's been growing plants for so long and has so much experience and just so much wisdom to share that I was so happy that I was able to make that so it's really cool seeing an epiphyllum. That's another video that if you haven't seen yet I highly recommend. There's some nice Schaeffler arbicolas too. These are great. Easy to grow. 
super cute, especially when the new leaves are emerging. It's a great beginner plant that's not very demanding at all. You kind of just check the soil weekly and water it when it's dry. And it's not um, demanding with light either, so it could take lower light as well as higher light. This one's getting high light. You can see like the leaves are light colored. There's some cute Alocasia Tiny Dancers too. Always gotta check out the cacti and succulents here. That is one big beefy cactus. Oh, here's another big beefy spiral cactus. I love these. Oh wow, and the rainbow cacti are in bloom. So beautiful. These colors are stunning. These are cool, they have four inch pachypodiums. Very nice. Madagascar palms, these are $15 each. These get huge, so that's really cool to see in a four inch and it's a really good price too for $15. And they have these Lophocerius scoti eyes. These are also known as the totem pole cactus. These don't have spines, so they're nice and smooth. Very cool. Love that sun stressed look at the tip right there. These are $35. Another one that gets huge. These are really cool. They have these smaller spiral cacti. These are $55 each. I mean, I say smaller, but I'd say the pot's still like six inches, so that's a pretty good deal. I love the tails. They have the monkey tail and the rat tail and the golden rat tail right here. Both the rat tail and the monkey tail put out some of the most beautiful blooms. They always catch me by surprise. Oh. Speaking of surprise, I've never seen a golden rat tail bloom. I have one. I have a crested one that hasn't bloomed yet. Here's another one with blooms. These are in four inch pots and they're $8 each. And the monkey tails um, in four inch pots are $20 each. I literally just had to turn around to see more golden rat tail blooms. Wow, these are pretty too. Okay. All the tails have pretty flowers. That's cool, I think this is dragon fruit. In a six inch pot for $18. Not bad. It's so pretty. Ooh, they have some crested Senecio Vitalis too. You can see why these are called mermaid tails. So cool. These six inch ones are $30 each. And they have this gargantuan beauty in a eight or 10 inch pot for $100. That is really cool though. I love this movement right here. That's cool. I was just walking away and I noticed this particular golden rat tail. Super pretty. The way that it's kind of curving and then putting out the flowers at the end. Love that. Oh, and this one's growing a lot. Growing a lot of pears. <laughs> that new growth is so cute. I just went back to the greenhouse to just make sure I didn't miss anything. Doing some personal shopping for myself. And I caught this beautiful Mimosa Pudica. It's nice, tall, and full. Love that. This one's $8 too. I'm not kidding. Every time I see one of these, these call my name. <laughs> they have so many butterflies here. Oh, and I almost missed these. They have some nice, tall, booby cacti. 
those are $70 each. I'd say they're about maybe two, like one and a half to two feet tall. And they also have the smaller ones for 30. Such a gorgeous cactus. And they have these cute little Grenovias. Love these, these are part of the Aeonium family. Not pretty. These are $35 each. I'm just about to check out, yeah. <laughs> but I almost missed these Anthurium Forgetty Eyes. There's something to look at everywhere here. That was so fun. Always fun here at Martinez. They had some amazing, beautiful plants. Let me show you what I picked out. Pretty soon, all I'm gonna be growing are mimosa puticas, and I'm not even mad about it. <laughs> just kidding. But this is a plant that I love, absolutely love, and this one's nice and tall, so I'm gonna add this to my sensitive plant collection. I also love this to grow outside, my little alocasia jacqueline. And I had to get the Pacific Maiden Hair Fern, especially this one with the variegation on it. That's so pretty. I can't wait till more fronds come out variegated like that. Hopefully, we shall see. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.